What attracted me to state liaison was the fact that I had worked with the states in a, and I, was, I really enjoyed that work we did with the states. What attracted me to the, initially I didn't know what I was getting into. <laughs> I, took a, I took a detail as a state liaison thinking, yeah, I can, I can approve some reports, that's no big deal, and I, I had no idea you know, how much the state liaison was involved in. So I started with the state of Utah, and I was there for about four years, and uh, I kind of was the manufactured food uh, program standards coordinator. So when I got with FDA, I kind of wanted to maintain that. So this was a natural move for me just to keep that relationship. As a CSO, I worked with state liaisons, but I had no idea what a state liaison was actually all about until I got in the position. And I wish, you know, people would, would know really how much goes into this position, especially for the people that are, um, have been in it for a long time. But it, there's, there's just a lot to it. And we, we touch a lot more than just human and animal food. And we, we're relationship builders. I mean, that's the big thing. That's what we're in charge of. I think um, just how much we're involved in. I think, you know, you look at different aspects of the FDA, there's so much being a consumer safety officer and investigator I didn't realize was going on. And being a state liaison, you're involved in everything. And uh, it's beneficial, you know, at the same time. But um, I don't think they realize we're not only dealing with the states. There's a lot of other work involved there. That we need to know a little bit of everything that's going on on both the FDA side and the state side. So we need to know jurisdiction and authority at a state level, and we need to know what investigations branch is doing uh, on the FDA side, what compliance branch is dealing with. So just being able to know a little bit of everything so we can provide answers to both sides. I think the position is meant to help, you know, the state and FDA form that great relationship. The state liaison position is definitely a collaborative environment that we have to work well with each other. The relationship we have uh, with the state governments, you wanna make sure we're maintaining that, we're building that, um, because we rely on the states a lot. And I think um, people that may not be involved in this position don't realize how much we do rely on the states. I feel privileged to be able to work with the FDA. I feel the FDA has a lot of great information and, and they, are, they have connections and ties to a lot of other agencies that we don't have particularly. And I think it's important for us to have a strong relationship with our federal partners. I do like my job. Every day is different. Uh, like I said, you can plan for one day, but it doesn't turn out the day you, like the day you had planned. I do like my job. I think there, there's, a lot, there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot involved, um, but I do like working with the states very much. And as a state liaison, I like being a problem solver. I like to help the states. That goes back to a good, having a good state liaison, because if you have a good state liaison, they're able to give us as much information as we need. I think this is a great, great career move. I mean, especially just talking about for me, um, this is a great spot. You, do, you get a, your hands in a lot of different pots, and uh, you know, there's a lot of different areas we touch, so there's not a lot more I could ask for in a position with FDA, I think this is great. It's a very wide uh, opportunity. I've been in this position for 19 years prior to this, the title of state liaison. Can you think of doing anything else? No, at this point, no. I love what I do. We hope this information gives you a little insight into the day in the life of a state liaison. If you have more questions, contact your local state liaison or email.